Hey guys, how we doing? What's happening? What's going on? Is it cold out? Very. Oh, it's sunny. It's nice. Oh, 19. sorry. It's cold. Nineteen. Nineteen. Could be cold. Brisk. That's yes, right. Brisk. Brisk. Crisp fall day. Sure. Put your long johns on. Good football day. Jim said uh, Monday he could be 75 feet away and hear you through the walls, through, down the halls, I guess, whatever. <laughs> are you are you just projecting? Projecting, that's a good, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Uh, to be quite honest, um, there's been very little projection with this, uh, with this group. But last Wednesday, we needed just a little bit of a wake-up call to make sure we did things the right way and you know, you know the you know the deal. Don't wait till Sunday. That's you, that could be a bad deal if you waited. So, generally speaking, though, are you? I mean, are, do you have to to be loud? I mean, uh, you know, so even I'm Sean McCune said he takes his earplugs out when he knows that you're going to talk to the team before a game. He wants to hear what you have to say. Oh, well, that was nice. Though. It's because he's from Central Mass. That might be part of it. <laughs> it's the only reason. Uh, no, I, I mean. You know, it's, it's an emotional game. It's an aggressive game. Um, you know, it's a tough, tough game for tough people. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's that piece of it that kind of gets me motivated to still, you know, go, go to my masculine side, I guess. And, and uh, well, what's your other side exactly? Around. Cerebral. Thank you. I'm very cerebral. Come on, you've been sitting in the meetings. I understand. That would so, be your feminine side, though. No, I didn't say that. I didn't. I did not say that. Cerebral is the. Uh, is the feminine. Side. Is the X and O's, conceptual, all that, and uh, you know the masculine side is the tough guy side in the game of football. Which is. Did you notice the targeting thing's kind of quiet? Yes, now. it is. Yeah. Why did, Me you, too. you had something to do with that? No, I had nothing to do with it. But I, but I think um, the one thing that's really happened, to be serious, I think, you know, players are conscious, coaches are conscious of it. And I, and I think, in a, you know, we've kind of found that happy medium where it's, it's kind of like it was a year ago. You know, it was there, uh, but was not frequent. And... Um, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of, uh, kind of gone that gone that way. You know, where we've all kind of found common ground to make sure that we keep the players on the field. So, why do you think it was frequent earlier? I don't know. You know, I really don't know. I, you know, I, I think getting the head of the officials in here would be a good. Uh, that would be a really good question to ask them. I mean, were they, you know, was it a priority? Um, you know, uh, I saw something yesterday where a coach said, "Well, you know, we got to we got to uh, outlaw or you know we got to put into a rule into effect of a defensive lineman slamming the quarterback, you know, with his full body weight." I kind of get that a, a little bit, but you know, so there it is, though another subjective deal. I think that can be difficult. That's all I'm saying. Maybe there's a feeling out process. I, mean, I think, yeah, that's yeah you know, I think, you know, I mean, uh, you know, had me laying awake at night trying to figure out, you know, ways to combat it. But the reality is just kind of stay true to your values, which you know you teach in the right way uh, in terms of the tackling piece and just make the guys conscious all the time, heads out of the game. You know, it's, it's out. Can't can't utilize it. So, you know, I think we found common ground. I joked with Kalik yesterday. I said uh, uh, the Kalik Hudson penalty, and he, he didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. So, uh, you know, that can be a, you know, obviously that's a it's an issue. So it seems like it's uh, kind of subsided, which is a good thing. No, I think it's a really good thing. I think we've. We're all being able to, you know, 
play the game of football again, where in that, and the emphasis of the, on that is where it should be. Because you had said that was making you rethink. Oh yeah. Coaching. I mean, I was like, oh, is this where we're going? You know. Um, but no, I think uh, I think cooler heads have prevailed, and you know we've we've kind of all figured it out, uh, both officials and coaches and players, and you know we're all coexisting again. So. I think you'll have uh, Levert and Josh to tell us. Um, yeah, I th I, I think we got to – Well, I, I, I'm not a doctor, so I can't make that. Um, but we got a heck of a shot to have them. Have both of them. Mm -hmm. I think you know, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, both of them are day to day, and yesterday was Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. You know, obviously, we'd like to. You know, uh, we'll have a better idea after today, obviously, because Tuesday and Wednesday are the real heavy work days. So, you know, you got to get some work in on Wednesday for sure. But you still have Thursday and Friday, and at this time of year, uh, you know, f except for learning the innuendos of the game plan, I think you know, you know, you're not fooling anybody right now. Has Levert been able to practice? I mean, he's been in concussion protocol. But... Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay. So we'll see what Dave has for me today. You know, we haven't I, we haven't had that discussion as to uh, you know. Uh, what his availability is for practice today. When you, sorry, go ahead. you said they needed to wake up last Wednesday. Was that uh, 80 yard or wake up on Saturday? Oh, that was a wake up for me. No. You know, uh, well, well thought out play. They lined up in three backs in the backfield. They motioned one of them out. We made the adjustment nicely. Uh, they brought that guy back uh, and faked the reverse with him, and we lost. Uh, one of our edges um, and the safety who had a man-to-man -man was adjusting to him, but we lost the edge to the defense, the back edge, and it got out. And you know we were, you know, we're spinning, you know, for the alley supporter, and I thought he was a little slow getting there. You know, would have liked to have seen that that play get, you know, put on the ground after about 10 to 12 yards, but it, it is what it is, you know, and. You know, that's been, uh, that's obviously an infrequent deal for us this year. We haven't had any plays like that. I can't think of it for quite a while. We've been you know, really stingy with giving up explosive plays, so that was a little out of character. But I thought the response was, was excellent. You know, we made the adjustment on the side and went to a, a little bit of a different front and just made sure we had both edges covered. We got time for a couple they ran, more. They ran it again, like some form of it. You guys no, they ran it. it again. Yeah, yeah, sure they did. Yeah, they ran it again. They just didn't motion out. They lined out. So, but it was uh, same personnel grouping and all those things. So, kind of knew it was coming. So got the, where it was able to put the uh, specific call against that personnel group in, and guys played it well. Kind of in a similar vein. How do you when? You know, you have a give up a big play like that and everything. But coming off of those three weeks of, you know, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Penn State, how hard or not hard, or, you know, with your group is it to keep them focused on, you know, playing games against uh, Rutgers and a, you know, Indiana? Yeah. I mean, Indiana's pretty damn good, so we, be, we better be engaged. Um, the, Rutgers, uh, the Rutgers game, I, I was more concerned about not, you know, the opponent, about us. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't worry about how I, I think our guys are really good at digesting the game plan, uh, giving every opponent uh, their respect, and uh, and then going and playing. You know, it really was more about I watched us practice really, really well, and have com and I've complimented our guys publicly. And uh, I just thought we had one day where we didn't practice as well, and I just reminded him of that in a projection. Is that how we? I, I don't think I it? heard it. I'm only 20 feet away. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, but you know, our guys are really bright. You know, they get it, and uh, you know, we went right back to work. So, uh, but that 
that uh, that play, you know, I don't want to belittle it. I thought that was uh, a really well-designed play on by their offensive staff, and and uh, you know, caught us off guard. But your whole defense it's, sort of speaks to their ability. I mean, Harbor com complimented your ability to fix in real time, but they've got to do it. You know, their their mm -hmm. ability to diagnose and fix. Is it? Uh, Way it, you know, uh, like. Like this year, as opposed to last year, in those veins, um, I can't really speak to the piece of, uh, you know, from a conceptual standpoint. It's really more of a, a mental approach. Like when things didn't go quite our way at times a year ago, you know, we'd get big eyed and it'd be. <laughs> All right, let's calm down. Let's let's. We got to do this. We got to do that. X, Y, Z. All those things. But it would take us a little time to do that. Um, you know, and as I told you in the Penn State game, we never fixed it. Uh, me included. Um, but with this group, um, shoot right to the bench. Sit there, look at you. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Good. Let's go. And that's really the, been the approach to this point. Now, you hope that keeps rolling, you know, for another whatever period of time. You know, we got two more left. So, but um, th that part of it, just their approach, being able to adjust. I think the confidence in one another, and you know, being around the scheme for. You know, we got to. We got a really a bunch of guys that know what to do. I mean, we we go to practice and, like I've said it before, it's pretty darn good. The product is, you know, kind of pretty exciting to coach, to be honest with you. We got one last question. Uh, Alan Gant, what is he, what has stood out to you about what he's been able to contribute, you know, working with the defense and the linebackers, you know, an intern? Uh, you know, he's, he's doing a good job. He's learning. Um, but he has a nice way about him. And I think, you know, being an ex-player, um, you know, he knows what the guys have been through. So, you know, he's able to kind of communicate maybe more the off the field than the on the field stuff, um, but has a nice way about him and, uh, you know, and uh, certainly a hard worker for sure. All right, we gotta move Coach out to bring in Coach Warner. Thank you. All right. If Angela, Thanks. if you wanna have the Angelique, Don Brown hour over here, we can do that. <laughs> Everyone will hear it though. <laughs> <laughs> Just have Shante. One thing.